Hello and welcome back. All right, so I guarantee that my secret weapon will enlarge your low res photos by up to 600% while improving the quality of the images and it's going to create details out of thin air. It also includes two bonuses, digital noise reduction and sharpening. Now, I know you're probably thinking that I'm referring to Topaz Photo AI, but I'm not. This app is half the price and provides similar results. Now, at the end, we will compare these upscaled images with Topaz Photo AI to see which one is better. Now, we're gonna be using these three low-res files to test out this upscale software. Now, this first image right here, I created this in the summer of 1989, and I scanned the negative, resulting in a low-res file of 400 by 600, which is teeny tiny. You can't even do a four by six print of this file and if I wanted to do, let's say an eight by 10 or eight by 12, I need to upscale by 600%. And let's jump into Photoshop real quick. If we try and do that with this image, you can see right here, let's go into image size. We have 400 by 600. So six X would be 2400 by 3600. And as you can see, the image now that it's larger, is very pixelated. There's a lot of digital artifacts as well, and the skin doesn't look very good, and there's no eyelashes, the eyebrows aren't defined. So can we actually increase the quality of the face as well as add eyelashes while upscaling? We're gonna find out. First, let's take a look at this other image right here. This is Echo, and he's one of our family members. And if we take a look at the original image straight out of camera, we can see the composition here is pretty wide and I'm not a real big fan of this composition. I would have preferred if I had gone in tighter with a longer lens, I used a 50 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop in real tight to create a more intimate type of portrait and to focus more on Echo's face versus his whole body and the rest of the environment. So this is going to create, I believe the original file was around 15 or 18 megapixels. I shot this with the Nikon D500, but now it is 23. Let's go ahead and add this up. We have 2392 times 1595 which is just under four megapixels. Now that's not too bad. I could probably get a five by seven print, maybe an eight by 10 print. But if I want something larger, like this 16 by 24 print, then I need to upscale the image to ensure I keep all the details in his face. I wanna make sure that the fur, the whiskers, everything else isn't pixelated. So we need to upscale that in order to get a larger print. Now, this next image is actually pretty tight compared to the original image straight out of camera, which is right here. This was shot with the Nikon Z8, which I believe is what, around 40, 45 megapixels. But let's say that you want to crop in really tight like this to focus more on his salivating beak. He's actually, if we take a look back here, he's on a chicken coop. So he flew onto this chicken coop and he was salivating at the beak and I want to focus on that. Now, when shooting wildlife, a lot of times we can't get close enough to that bird or that reptile or whatever the case may be a lot of times we can't get close enough, even if we use a long lens, I'm using a 500 millimeter lens here, I'm not able to get as close as I want. So what we need to do is crop those images really tight, right? So you've probably done this yourself. You may have a bald eagle flying in the sky, it's too far away, you crop in tight. And based on that, you get a lower res file, but you want to create a large print. Well. How are you going to do that? Well, you can't really do it in Lightroom and Photoshop 
depending on the tools that you use, you're not going to get the results that you're going to get with this app that I'm gonna show you right now. Again, this is not Topaz Photo AI. Instead, it's called Gigapixels or Gigapixel AI. So we're gonna create TIFF files, which is going to create a higher quality image and retain more of the detail and the colors in those images. And once we click on edit, it will then open up those files in Gigapixel AI. Again, half the price of Topaz Photo AI with similar results. So let's go ahead and see how this compares to Topaz Photo AI. All right, so once the images are loaded into Gigapixel, it will automatically begin fixing and upscaling the image. And you can instantly see the results with Gigapixel. Here's the original on the left, pixelated digital artifacts. And then with the upscaling and the other edits that are being applied, it's improved the image a hundred times. So you can see right here, original size 400 by 600, 6X six upscale is now 2400 by 3600. And let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And you can definitely see that there are now eyelashes visible. How cool is that? I love it. And look at the eyebrows. The eyebrows are now more defined. There's skin texture as well. So it didn't create a mannequin type of effect. It's not really smooth. There's detail in the skin as well. So we have some settings down here that can help us define or refine, I should say, the upscaling of the image to include more or less sharpening. You can also remove digital noise. And I'll show you that with the bald eagle because it does have a lot of digital noise. And we'll see if we can remove that. We also have multiple AI models. So you're going to select these based on the type of artwork that you're upscaling. So for photos, you're going to use standard high fidelity, low res version one or version two, which is in beta now. And those tend to work out best for photos. And for this particular image, the low res file or the low res version one creates the best outcome. Now the eyes are a little bit kind of, I, I don't know, I guess you could say fake looking. They're kind of smooth and don't have a lot of detail. So we can adjust these settings to maybe refine those eyes a little bit better. But at the same time, we're not going to be zooming in 200% when we do a print enlargement. So you're not going to take this print and look at it like this to look for those imperfections. It's going to be hanging on your wall and you're not going to see those imperfections. All right, so let's take a look at the next image here, which is of Echo. And we're going to do 600% again, or 6X. And I'm going to zoom out to, let's go to 33%. And we're going to increase the sharpening back to 50. Now, when you run this the first time and load an image, the default for both sharpen and denoise is one. But it's going to remember your last settings. For example, because I've been using low res files recently with gigapixels, it's going to select that auto magically. If I switch to standard and then close the program and come back, it's going to select standard. All right, so here is the before and now the after. Well, you might be saying there's not much difference and there isn't. But here's the key. Let's zoom in a little bit more so we can get a closer look at this eye here. Before we were at four megapixels. Now, look at this, we're at 14,000. Let's do the math here. 14,352 times 9,570. That's insane. So we are now at 137 megapixels. I mean, that's unbelievable. And the quality between the before and after isn't that much different unless you zoom in tighter and take a closer look. And you can see that the low res file here is more pixelated. If you look at the individual hairs and his whiskers here, they're not that sharp. They're kind of blurry. 
but with the upscaling and the sharpening being applied, it is much more defined, sharper than it was before. This is unbelievable. I can't believe how great this software is. All right, now let's take a look at our last image here and we're going to do some denoise and then we're going to compare all three images to Topaz Photo AI. So I've already processed those images in Topaz Photo AI and then we're gonna compare these images side by side. All right, so there is the original and now the upscaling, denoise and sharpening but we still see some digital noise in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the denoise to plus 25 to see if we can improve this. All right, so now a lot more of that noise is gone. There's still some noise in there. So you have to decide how much noise do you want? Do you want to get rid of it 100% and not see any of it? Or do you want some digital noise to still be present, which sometimes is a good thing because if you take too much noise out, it's going to create a softer, blurrier image and you're going to lose some detail. So if I increase this to 75, it's going to be a lot more aggressive this time and it's going to remove more of that noise. But it, again, the details in the Bald Eagle are a little bit softer than it was with the previous edit of 25 for denoise, but check this out. The original image right here, 860 by 1290, which is one megapixels. And now we're at 5160 times 7740. We're at 39.9 megapixels or 40 megapixels. How awesome is that? I love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these images and I'm going to export back into Lightroom Classic. And when that's done, we're gonna come back and compare these side by side with the Topaz Photo AI files. All right, let's compare the Topaz Photo AI upscaling image that's on the left here with the one on the right. Again, side by side, not zoomed in, they look exactly the same, and you're not going to see those imperfections until you zoom in. So if you take a look at that wall print or that print you did for your desk and you get really close to it, you could probably see those imperfections. But in real life, you're not doing that. So we're not gonna see those imperfections until we zoom in. But for this image at 140% zoom, they look exactly the same. Both of them have eyelashes, texture in the skin, the eyebrows and the lips are defined. So it looks great in my opinion what do you think let me know in the comments below next we have echo and we're going to zoom out to around 40 percent and that's because this file is so much larger in terms of resolution remember 14,000 by 9,000 versus the other one that was what was it around let's take a quick look here 2400 by 3600 so we have to zoom out in order to see the image a little bit better. We don't want to get too close. Otherwise, it, again, you're seeing those imperfections as you zoom in more and more. But even at this level, 31%, we can see that the Topaz Photo AI file is a little bit sharper. And that's because it's been designed to create a sharper image, whereas Gigapixels is more for upscaling, but it's still a lot sharper than it was versus the original file that we upscaled from. But again, if we zoom out, they're going to look the same side by side at this zoom level. Next, we have the Bald Eagle. Again, they look similar zoomed out. If we zoom in to around 50%, we can see Topaz Photo AI on the left is cleaner and sharper than the image on the right. But it all depends on your own personal needs on whether or not you're gonna go with Photo AI or Gigapixels. Gigapixels is half the price. Topaz Photo AI is just a little bit better in terms of noise reduction and sharpening. But don't take my word for it. Download both of them with a free trial and try them out on your own images so you can see how they work with your photos versus what I'm showing you 
with my photos. I also have a playlist here of additional Topaz video tutorials if you want to check that out as well to learn more about their software. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.